Lung cancer is by far the leading cause of cancer death among men and women, claiming more lives than breast cancer, colon, and prostate cancer combined, killing twice as many women as breast cancer. But there is a stigma associated with lung cancer that only those who smoke will end up getting the disease. So in some way, they are responsible for their illness. The truth is that 65% of lung cancer patients either never smoked or quit smoking years ago. Here with more is Dr. Jessica Donington, uh, also Lisa Bonanno, great, uh, stage four lung cancer patient. Great to have you both on this morning. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll start with you, Dr. Donington. We know lung cancer is the most deadly form of cancer. Is there new hope, though, for people who are diagnosed? Yeah, right now we have lots of new hope. It's a really exciting time to be a lung cancer doctor because we have new discoveries in the form of CT screening for early detection, uh, better treatments for early stage disease, and some miraculous new medicines in the form of immunotherapies and targeted therapies, which have really made a huge difference in terms of lung cancer cures. It's an exciting time in lung cancer. That is exciting. Great news. And Lisa, we'll toss it to you. You are celebrating five years uh, since your diagnosis. Do you call yourself a, a survivor? Absolutely. Um, I'm surviving lung cancer every day and this September it will be six years since my diagnosis and um, because I was stage four I only had about a two percent chance of making it to five years but because of the amazing research and clinical trials and all the new treatments they've come out with in the last few years I'm able to sit here today and actually feeling pretty well. Wow, wow that is great news and uh, how, how do you feel about the lung cancer stigma? I believe it's definitely hurt um, lung cancer as far as the federal funding dollars that are designated to lung cancer for research. And people somehow believe that either you can only get lung cancer if you've been a smoker or that you somehow caused your disease and regardless of how you got lung cancer, no one deserves it and we all deserve to have a fighting chance with these great amazing new treatments. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Dr. Donington, who should be getting screened for lung cancer? CT screening is now recommended for those patients who are at the highest risk for developing lung cancer. Those are patients who have smoked a fair amount, you know, one to two packs of cigarettes a day for 10 years or greater, and really specifically for those who are still smoking today or who have stopped within the last 15 years. If that's someone who's listening today or one of their loved ones, we really encourage you to go to your doctor and ask about CT screening for lung cancer. Can you explain a little bit more also about the targeted uh, therapy that you're speaking about as well? Sure. So standard chemotherapies were just medicines that kind of targeted fast-growing cells. But now because we know so much more about lung cancer cells and what specifically makes them different than normal cells, we now have targets uh, that we can go in and to specifically treat those uh, targets. What's a little bit different or unique is that not every tumor is the same and not every tumor has the same targets. So everyone with uh, lung cancer needs to have their tumor tested to see if they have one of these mutations where we can give them these special uh, medicines. All right, any final thoughts that you'd like to uh, leave with our viewers as we close here? Maybe any advice for someone who's uh, been recently diagnosed with lung cancer? Uh, yeah, our advice is that there is hope for you. We recommend you going to the Lung Cancer Foundation of America website at lcfamerica.org. Learn more about the disease. Learn more about treatment, trials. All right, so new hope out there. We th uh, thank you both so much for taking time to share that with us today. And uh, we'll also send our viewers to our website. We will have uh, what uh, Jessica Donington, Dr. Jessica talked about, and Lisa Bonanno right there at fox4morningblend.com.